Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Chicago White Sox. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important the series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. And on the mound in this one, Chad Cool. What do you look for here? Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. The why to kick the pitch. Steven Kwan at the plate now. That's ball one. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Fouled off left side. The wind in the pitch. On the ground. Lopez gets it to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's the Guardians lineup now. This is not a team that's had much success driving the baseball so far this year. They have to rely on stringing hits together as opposed to scoring a lot of runs on homers, doubles, and triples. So it's hard to bunch runs together. And that's exhausting when your team is at the bottom of the league in slugging percentage and how much it takes, Boog, for you to put together a rally and put together a big inning. Just a difficult uh, thing yeah. to do consistently over a long season. So somehow, some way, somebody's going to have to find some power in this lineup so that they can have some easier wins and enjoy this season a little bit more. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Not ball. even close there. And that's ball one. Fly ball down the line. On the run towards the line. Can't get there. This one lands foul. One out, base is empty. The pitch. The punch out there, two down. Well, getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Josh Naylor, the next to hit, takes outside. Cool, 31 years old. He's one of the few Major League Baseball players born in the state of Delaware. Left-hand hitter waits. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. I got a ball, one strike. And Naylor swings through that one. Good one ball. late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Two out spaces empty. Bounce to third. Guardians oh. go down in order. Guardians nothing. White Sox coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy. And starting this one, Tanner Bybee. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. 
don't know what, what it is, is but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Left hand batter waits. And there's a foul ball. Just oh, misses the, the mark outside the zone. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Pulled the string of the changeup. Mickey Lopez up to the plate. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and oh. Yeah, the right-hander deals. So two balls and no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Drifts towards it. And that's a foul ball. That oh, one almost got him. Well, you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early, and that sends a message not just to this hitter, but to the rest of the lineup as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. That one is nope. inside oh, ball four, and I mean... Oh, so close. Probably tried that's to that's nibble that's right that's there and just that's missed that's his spot. Hitter right. didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And now it's Luis Robert. Help, one and, oh. and there's a ball. Lopez stands at first with one out. That one nope. inside. inside ball, ball two. two. Right through there for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Two for eight in the series so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two on, one out. Ball two. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Whoa. And a curve misses outside. Andrew Vaughn up next for the White Sox. Kicks and fires. That one finds the zone, and the count is three and one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. One down. Andrew Vaughn now. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. Righty deals. Eight. 
ball That's one cool. there. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The one two. Three. Strike three. Got him swinging. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing that is, back, and this pitcher has hit. to step up and Come get on. the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Here is Moncada. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Chance to extend that hitting streak to 10 games here. That one's in there. Strike one. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. In the air right field. And that will end the inning. And the White Sox will strand three. Scoreless after one. Here on the south side, and now Jose Ramirez. A small guy to hit over 30 home runs, and he's still not done yet. That is extremely impressive. That Eight. one finds the zone, and it's a 1-1. Oh, First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Just missed. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon maybe a little bit more hitter-friendly than most. He's got it tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Makes the grab, run away. Made a bid for a nice opposite field double down the line. Beautiful swing, but nothing you can do about the result. Third baseman are just used to handling hot shots like that. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. That one misses. Ball one. No score here in the second. And that's down and away. That's a strike. And a count two and one. One strike. And look out. As that one ran in and got him. As a hitter, I'll take that all day long. An off-speed pitch, it's not going to rattle your cage too much. So, man aboard. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Hey. That one finds the zone. Oh, one. And that is strike one. And a pitch. Ball. Brennan at first, one gone. Pickoff throw. Brennan back on a dive. And the pitch. 2-1. Pitch out, but no action. chase that time first pitch strike from the pitcher but then no panic at all by the hitter very patient showing good discipline now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count the 3-1 and that's ball four. four pretty easy walk right there last pitch wasn't even much to think about <laughs> so one out with two aboard now it's the shortstop Gabriel Arias line drive come on that swing right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's Andre Jimenez. I know we're still early in the stages of this game, but this at bat has the potential of being a difference maker. You've got to stay calm in the box. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 
Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. The pitch. And that one fouled off. The pitch. That oh. one missed. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Two outs. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And here it comes. Hit the air, left field. Ben Intendi moving under it. Brings it in. And that's the third out. Guardian strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's going to be Colson Montgomery. Montgomery. As he turns on the rubber, here with that good live arm delivers. And that misses off the outside edge. And a strike in there. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball. And a ball and two strikes. That one lifted to left. Juan heads after it. He's got it. One down. That again. The catcher. Yeah. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Swing and a miss, strike one. Throughout history, oh, the fastball down. down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something belt high. Oh, Next my. offering is down low. That's a strike across the top of the zone. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. The line of the pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. One down, base is empty. Line drive, speared at first. And he takes it himself for the out. The right Next to hit, Oscar Colas. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Right through there for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not Two sure strikes. exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Right into the plate. Goes down looking. Shy Sox held in check here. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. Gloriano comes up to hit. The right field, number 10. Ramon Gloriano. Cool. Back to work. That misses the zone. And that is ball one. And another ball. 2-0. 2-0 the count. Here it comes. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Hard should be extra bases. 
around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Steven Kwan digs in for the Guardians. Man at second. A little out front there as he swings through it. Oh, okay. In the dirt, and a count one and two. That's All down two. and in. Two balls, two strikes. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here in the third and final game of the series. Out towards right center field. Robert hustling after it. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. And a run comes in to score. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, dude. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Miles Straw digs in for the Guardians. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Benintendi is there. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now back the first, first base, 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 Josh, Josh Naylor. Naylor. Here's Josh Naylor. And Cleveland on top one zip. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know... I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, nope. but you look at the numbers, and nope. this guy no, no, no. always seems to deliver in those spots. Cleveland up around looking for more. Swung on, belted. That one back there. See you later. That's one way to quiet the crowd, and they boost their lead. It's 3-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Now it's Jose Ramirez. 0 for 1 so far. Just Outside, missed. Still only one out here in the inning. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Cool. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. One strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Brennan stands in now, looks at that one inside. Already three runs across in the frame here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not a deep. He's there to make the catch at third, and the inning is over. Cleveland with a pair on this blast. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show.
And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. Off. Set for the bottom of the third. Got a Tandy up here. Here comes a pitch. Inside, Inside just missed. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there and have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a miss. And it's two and one now. Two one strike. Just missed. The three one. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And there's one away. Now that second base. And up next for Chicago, Nicky Lopez walked his first time. Down the middle for a strike. It's 0-1. Good eye right there. The 1-1. One, one. And a foul ball. The Guardians leading by three here in the last half of the third. Hard hit left side. Throws the first in time. Now got it. Center fielder. Luis Robert now. Ball and one. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. The That's next pitch ball. misses. Two balls, no strikes. Two balls, well, usually a no high strike. level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Ball three. That's off the mark. And now 3-0. Three, three balls, no strikes. And a pitch. And he walked him on four pitches. pitches. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a now very down. aggressive That's secondary down. lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Kick in the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Throw to second. Save. Really nice one to second right there. He knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher because that catcher can make up some time. And such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat it. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. Right through there for a strike. Robert at second with two down. And another ball. Andrew Vaughn in the on deck circle. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues Number with control. Number on the mound now, Anthony Bonda. And one thing on him. He's been really good this season in keeping the ball on the ball. Not an easy guy to take deep.
Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. Struck out swinging his first time. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And a pitch. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. White Sox strand a couple. They trail in this one, 3 0. Start of the fourth. Here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. Bo Naylor. Naylor in his second season, 24 years old, and he was born in Canada. That's a laser base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Gabriel Arias digs in for the Guardians. Wait. Fastball in for a strike going along. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. Oh, well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. The shortstop takes the ball. One ball Nobody two out. Down. Runner at first. Wouldn't chase that time. Here's a 2 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty delivers. Swings, throw it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. This is tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. And stepping in is the speedy Andres Jimenez. Fly to left his first time. Fought off foul. The 0-1. Fouled off to the right. The pitch. Picks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So. They haven't been able to move that runner up, Moriano. get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now this is in the air down the line. And a foul ball. The pitch. Oh. Outside low, and that's ball one. one. one He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Ready. Rips one to right. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. Guardians lead one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back 
back here on the south side. Ready to go, bottom four. And now let's switch hitting third baseman, Yoan Moncada. The line to the pitch. There's a strike. You know, these White Sox did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. The numbers kind of speak for themselves with the four walks. They've done a great job of not trying to do too much and just staying disciplined. That clips the corner. Another thing I love is how they've allowed the game to come to them. They're not forcing the issue when they're on offense. And when you force and get anxious, it starts being a lot more likely that you'll let those pitchers off the hook. Makes the catch for the out. Up next to Chicago. The shortstop. Colson. And the batter will be the shortstop. Colson Montgomery. He's 0 for 1. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Quan pulls it in on the run. The catcher, number 33, Max. Two outs, base is empty. Max Stassi steps to the plate for the White Sox. Grounded out his first time. And fires in a fastball at 95. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Two outs. That one ripped, but foul. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Hit in the air, right field. Makes the grab, and that is that. Here on the south side, we go to the top of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. Just missed. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Tukey Tucson up and loosening in the pen. Flexen getting loose as well. There's a strike. On the ground to third. The throw to first. Going up one down. So digging in, Miles Straw. Singing, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And that's in the dirt. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and the breaks a guy's heart. 22, Josh Naylor. And now it's Josh Naylor. He's already homered in this game. strike a sinker at the bottom of the oh, zone it's important if he can go one two three here will be a very positive sign for him and for his team and that one sliced foul two down nobody on and we're in the top of the fifth next pitch in the dirt and a count one and two Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. Throws to first in time, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Guardians there, but they lead it 3-0.
it to my Bottom of the inning, and now the right fielder, Oscar Colas. The line to kick the pitch. That one fouled off. You know, these White Sox finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Next pitch is downstairs. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. And clips a corner. What you now? Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And out number one on the grab. The left fielder, number 23. And back to the top of the lineup, and the left Andrew. fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Had a good eye there. Fastball for a strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. One down, base is empty. And that's a strike. Two two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And now the lefty. This one smoked out to left. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. Now that second base. Two outs, base is empty. Nicky Lopez steps to the plate for the White Sox. And the nope. first pitch ball misses one. for ball one. The White Sox trailing by three, last half of inning number five. And a strike. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And another ball. Pitch misses inside. And a full countdown. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. The Guardians leading by three here in the third and final game of the series. Outside, and that is ball four. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Or are we supposed to bring something? Now, See, I think just our presence is the presence. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the center fielder, Luis Robert. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. This one in the air, center field. Straw has a beat on it. And he makes the catch. And that's the inning. The White Sox leave one. They trail it here, 3 0. We're back, and they make a change to start the six. The new pitcher, Tuki Tucson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's Jose Ramirez. He's always a threat at the plate. He's been flexing his power in the majors for a long time now. His first career home run was to right field right here inside Yankee Stadium in 2014. The right fielder that day for the Yankees, Ichiro Suzuki. Even he couldn't catch that one. The 1 0. 
right hey. through there for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised ball, all of us. Strike. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Tosses to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now back, designated hitter. Will Brennan Will digs in down. First pitch just misses. Activity in the bullpen. Jesse Schultens appears to be getting loose. Hey. And a big swing and a miss. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Now fly ball to right center. Sizes this one up. Drops into the glove. Two up, two down. Now bad. Catch it. Bo, Bo Naylor digs in Naylor. for the Guardians. Fastball for a strike. Oh and one. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Next offering in there for a strike. No, ball, no balls, two, strikes. two strikes. Missed ball, inside with strikes. the curve. On the ground, out to short. Zips it oh. to first. That's out number three. Guardians go down one, two, three, but they lead it three nothing. Bottom of the six. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Sox, Aloy Jimenez. As the lefty gets to work. And a curve is down and in. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Scott Barlow getting loose out there. The wind in the pitch. On the ground to third. And that chance handled. Tosses across oh. to first. Leadoff man retired Number in the six. six. Number 25. Oh. Andrew. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. You do. That one misses in the dirt. Wouldn't chase that time. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead and counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Swings and misses, and it's 2-1. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. To the right side, Naylor. A flip to the pitcher oh. covering, and a couple of quick outs. Now got it. third base. Two outs, base is empty. Here is Yohan Moncada. First pitch misses. Count one and oh. left center that'll be extra bases makes the turn and heads for second straw returns it to the infield and they hold him at second maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback and that knock bumps his hitting streak into double digits chris he's hitting 10 straight yeah and on a nice trajectory average going up obp everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working and next to hit for the Sox, colson montgomery And there's the strike. 0 and 1.
Moncada on its second with two down. That's in there, and it's 0-2. And, and a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Kicks and fires. The shortstop takes the ball. To third. Could be extra bases. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily. And now just a two-run deficit. Safely into second. He's got a double. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. It kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. He got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now the catcher comes up to him. Max Stassi. And Boog, I'd say he's due. That All one in the dirt. Right. One and oh. With the tying run at the plate here in the rubber match of this three game series. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. What is upstairs? Workside. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And the pitch. Edge in the zone for a strike. And the count is even two and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Oscar Colas in the on deck circle for the White Sox. At the belt and fires. In the air to left center. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Sox get one on the RBI double. And this is now a three one ball game. Give it, give it all you got. You can never be like me. Yeah, I push until I bleed. And I keep it so 100, not afraid to show my teeth. You can never. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field. Here's the shortstop at the play, Gabriel Arias. The short shot. Tucson back to work. Arias. Ball one, no strikes. Tucson in his fifth season, 27 years old, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. Foul ball there. The one one. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Right-handed reliever. That missed by a lot. And the count's even at two. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Ball and one. takes low for ball one. One down, base is empty. That hey. clips the corner. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And downstairs. Right. 
And there's the ball. And there's ball no, four. Ball. Take your break. The white right field, field number 10. ten. Ramon. Here's Ramon Laureano. Laureano. His righty lefty splits there. In the dirt, and that's ball one. Counts one and oh. Toussaint pick off, throw to first. And he's back in safely. The pitch. That one outside. Two and oh. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now back left field. Steven Kwan. Now here is Steven Kwan. One for three. Run around the move. Pitch nope. misses. Throw to second. Great jump. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Line drive. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Guardians as the lead remains 3-1. here to start the bottom of the seventh Scott Barlow these are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves late and close there's not much margin for error but at the same time there's a reason they're put in these situations now it's the right fielder Oscar Colas as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers swing and a miss as he was late Swing and a ground ball out to short. Toss to Naylor and one away in the bottom of the seventh. So the lineup flips over. Ben Attendee to the plate. In there for strike one. Swing by Benintendi, driven deep to right. Loriano going back and caught on the warning track. Not quite enough well, behind that one. The second that was a no doubt. Like the win was holding that in this ballpark. So up next for Chicago, Nicky Lopez. Not one close with that one. Ball one. The White Sox down by a pair here at the bottom of the seventh. And That's that one missing two. low. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. That's to third. Ramirez throws to first. What a play. Inning over. Three up, three down that time. We look ahead to inning number eight. Guardians three, and the White Sox one. And we're back. Now the number two hitter, Miles Strong. Toussaint back to work. Inside, just missed. Out 
Hey. Front with the swing, and that is strike yeah, one. The one one. And that one is lifted in the air. Robert on the move. Nabs it, and there's one down. The first base is the one two. Yeah. So in now for Cleveland, Josh Naylor. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. Outside low, and that is ball one. In there at the knees for a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Next pitch is outside. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Tosses to the Got pitcher it. covering the bag. And yeah, there's two away. Up next to Cleveland, the third base is Jose Ramirez. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jose Ramirez. Ball. That's off the mark, ball one. And it skips in the dirt. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. Aye. And that's in there at the knees. That's out to center field. And it drops in. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on the plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. His fourth home run of the season. And they add on. It's 5-1. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Naylor digs in for the Guardians. One for two. First pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. Two down, nobody on. And hey. one and two. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. The two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 5-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. I'm crazy. Don't get involved with me. I dropped the top of the... Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Nick Sandlin. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Leading off, Luis Robert. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The White Sox in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And a swing and a miss there. Double barreled action oh, in the bullpen. Trevor Steffen preparing to come on if needed. Karen check also getting ready. Mm -hmm. 
the pitch. Foul ball. And the righty deals. Line drive. He brings it down. Nice play. Time to perfect. It's hard, I think, for those guys in the corners because, you know, especially when it's a you know, right-handed hitter for third baseman, you don't see the ball all that well going through the zone. And if it's a left-hander, you got a better shot at it because you can see the ball going through, see the contact. And so that jump isn't always on time. Sometimes it's a little early. Sometimes it's a little bit late. But that one was perfect. Swing and a miss one and as one. he was out front that time. Misses nope. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. The wind of the pitch. That Whoa, one right misses. Now. And a count is three and one. for Chicago Andrew Vaughn and that's outside the White Sox trailing by three here the bottom half of the eighth inning and it's fouled away Ball to strike. And that one clips the corner. One ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal oh, movement. Oh, but most of the good ones are both vertical depth and ball. that horizontal movement. And that's what we oh, saw right there. Oh, oh, oh. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. And that one pulled foul. Up to the left, into foul ground, drifts towards it, reaches over the wall, and he's got it. Sox move closer on the solo homer. It's now 5 2. set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the shortstop, Gabriel Arias. The pitch. That's in there. Out to short. In time to ball. 
Now one gone in the ninth. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. This is inside. Next offering is downstairs. Almost got him. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. One gone runner at first. Now the batter now, Ramon Laureano. This is again five in a row. Rudder takes off, pitch in for a strike, and safe. It's a stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Jimenez over at second, one down. And here it comes. And yep, it's even up. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Stays alive. Two-two oh now. Rudder goes again. Three. Swing and a miss. Out oh, to third, and that ends the inning. When you get thrown out at third with two outs, you kind of want to keep on running. Not a great decision there, as it ends the inning. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Emmanuel Classe. This now, guy's a strike roller. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. Colson Montgomery steps to the plate for the White Sox. Here comes a pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. Classe, a former All-Star. He throws a cutter, a slider, and he works in a four-seamer. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. Oh, two is the count. Up That's and cool. in, and the count is one and two. Probably missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. The one, two. Three. Triple digits on that last pitch. And here's the catcher, Max Stassi. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. There's a strike at the knees, and it's 0 and 1. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute oh, gas one. these days. I never would have had a chance. One down, base is empty. 
Well, that's, that's outside, and it's two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The count two and one. That's to third. Ramirez oh. sends it to first. Two up, two down. Now right so they're down to their final out. Oscar Colas steps to the plate for the White Sox. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And there's a foul ball. The Guardians trying to close out a three run lead here in the last half of inning number nine. To first, and this should do it. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. This is a huge win. Take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good momentum. But they all, we also have a higher expectation to play well. So they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Mike check is this thing on. I ain't even know if I would rap or just sing on. It took me a while. Now I'm getting my swing on. Icarus and increments. Sometimes I put wings on. Every hero ain't a hero till there's a thing song. So many tries, but every time it just sing wrong. Saturday night, just kicking it with my best man. Looked at my left hand, I got a ring on. <laughs> How did we get here? Started with a kiss, then another kiss, then another kiss, then a covered dish with white rice, greens, and smothered fish. I'm lying, it was just chicken. Now we got a covenant, it's on a bond for life. And all my years, this was the easiest song to write. It's my confession and the rhyme, a testament, and I just want to do my thing. The final one for this afternoon's first for the victorious people. Five runs, six in, no error. They let five runners. The White House, two runs on board.